So I've invited you to a couple of challenge groups. I've talked to you about some health and fitness. You've asked me some questions and you still haven't committed to a program. So, and that's okay because we all do our own thing, but I hear this a lot. I have a gym membership. I go to the gym. A lot of us do. Gyms are awesome. I love the gym culture. It's my happy place. But really, every good plan, every good program has a plan B. So we've talked about um, meal prep, how not to drive through the drive-thru when Tommy runs a fever at school and you've got to run and get him and you've got nothing prepared at home. We've talked about all those tips and tricks with your, with your nutrition. But, but what happens when you have to run and get Timmy from school because he's running 102 fever and you get him home and you get him tucked into bed with the Tylenol and you've missed your appointment with your trainer? What's your plan B then? Just a question. Because really, a magical part of your transformation or your health and fitness is your plan B. You always have to have a backup plan. So rather than get Tommy, Timmy all tucked into bed with his, his Tylenol and his teddy bear and sitting in front of Sex in the City with a pint or a half gallon of haagen you could have a program at home waiting for you as a safety net. So just FYI, just throwing it out there, I've got the Pio group starting on the 30th. Body Beast is so popular, I'm adding people to that almost every day. So that group is always open, and I can add you to that anytime. Uh, we're looking at the free clean eating group that starts April 6th and planning a spring training in the middle of April. So what's your plan B? Send me a message. We'll talk.